What's up guys, this is RDZ here. Yes, I am aware I hit 200 subscribers, but I'm still planning on what to do for that. Uh, but anyways, Mindplex had another update. It's not really a big update, but there's a couple things that I wanted to talk about and make a few predictions on what's going to happen with Mindplex. First off, we got more developers pretty much to implement, to create new games, new features, and fix lots of little bugs. Um... So yeah, some junior developers. Um, there's a new chat anti-spam change. So pretty much, if you don't have a rank, you can't send messages on the fly, like back to back to back to back. There's a split second delay, so that you can't spam too hard. And yeah. And if you have a rank, or if you're above level 25, you will not be affected by the chat delay, which is kind of weird. Mm, that's weird. Um, there's a Micro Battles patch. Micro Battles is a favorite game for many players, but it is unfortunately lagged a lot. And pretty much they fixed the lag for that game, which is pretty good. And this is pretty much where I want to talk the most about. Because it, it's been a while since any news, so here's some updates about what we're working on. Clans is coming along nicely, and we're doing... And we're about to start doing some serious staff-only testing. Now, if I have staff, I could test it out. And probably give you a little leaked footage of it, but I'm not part of the staff. So I can't give you anything. I'm sorry about that. But, um, once it released for a public beta for Legends of Play, I'm playing the living crap out of it. I'm giving you guys everything about it, see if it's worth it, stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Um... And then shortly after that, it'll be released to everyone. I'm thinking, like, um, I feel like in, like, a couple of weeks, like, one to two weeks, they'll start doing staff testing. And then, like, two months later, so, two months later might be released in beta for us legends, and then after, like, a month, maybe not even a month, like, Two weeks, it'll be released to the public, so I'm looking at, so you're pretty much looking at, like, two months and two weeks, maybe until clans will come out, that's just my prediction date, there's nothing really going on with it, um, and they have a couple of other games in progress as well, they're not releasing any details just yet, but one is gonna, is a crazy fast-paced arcade game, and the other is a new survival game, expect to hear more news about them soon. So pretty much, the crazy fast-paced arcade game, that's pretty much open to anything. I don't know what they're planning to do for that. Um, it could be, uh, could be QuakeCraft minigame from Mindplex, which was like a fast-paced shooter. And you, like, you run around, it was uh, about the game Quake. Um, I was thinking that. But other than that, I don't really know any other games that are f super fast-paced. Maybe, uh, I don't know, It's that that's open. But the new survival game, my prediction is we're going to get Sky Wars, or something at least very like it. I think Mindplex might implement the water, and we won't have void maps, but we'll have, like, water maps. So if you fall in the water, you'll die of damage and stuff like that. I feel like that's what we'll get. We won't get a void map. We get water maps, because they don't want to deal with the void. So pretty much, picture like, micro battles with even smaller islands. Like, that's what this new survival game would probably be like. I don't know what the name would be. Some probably Something similar to Sky Wars, I would believe, because that's like the one survival game they don't have. And, but that's just my prediction. They might, like, come out with something even cooler than that, like some other game nobody even heard of, but if they, I mean, I'm just going with the trend here, most servers have a Sky Wars-ish game, so that's why I thought of that. An inventory update is in the early stages of planning and development, so probably get this in a month or two. Um, pretty much will contain a bunch of new cosmetic items, which I will hope to to bring you guys, because I have 60,000 coins to spend on all these cosmetics. So, yeah, I would hopefully get an update video for that. And some new categories. I don't know what the new categories are going to be. 
Maybe like stuff that you can like like a hat, maybe more armor, like stuff you can wear in the lobbies. Um maybe like different maybe even like different YouTuber heads that you can like put on your head or something or like an ability to like steal somebody someone player's head and put it on your head or something. That would actually be pretty sweet. Um other than that, just new morph, stuff like that. I think like a hat category might come into play here somewhere. I don't know anything else. Um, let's see here. And your active cosmetics will be saved when you change servers, so you don't have to like open them. So like if I select Ether Pearl in the lobby and then I join a game of um, micro battles, I mean I have the Ether Pearl still there, so I don't have to go in and click on it again. And finally, they're having a giant map update is coming. And this is some good news because it will include some new maps for a whole bunch of games, including Castle Siege, and yes, The Great Bridges. The Bridges is a freaking awesome game. <laughs> I've played on every single map. There's only three of them. I hope we get some more, and I can, like, hopefully learn the map pretty easily, but, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video and prediction video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.